Hello everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video. Now today this is kind of a video by request. Now we've just got off the Aero Express train in Domodedovo Airport and we're going to go to the airport because we're going to go for a very special meal. So let's go. Now, just before we walk into the airport, I just thought I'd show you how nice the train station is. They have this very nice uh, Hello Market right here with uh, snacks and drinks, electronics vending machine, everything you need. This is a super nice train station. This is the Aero Express station that takes you into Moscow center. And have a look here, there's a nice, uh, Kind of cafe, there's a place to buy the tickets, and then the uh, platform is just straight ahead right there. Okay, so I've come out of the train station, and I thought I'd just give you a bit of an overview of the airport here. This is Domodedovo International Airport in Moscow, Russia. Today's the 7th of May, 2022. It's just after lunch and I'm feeling hungry. So we're gonna head on inside. Hopefully no problems filming, I don't think so. And we're gonna go and have a look for this secret restaurant here in the airport. Now I know it's on level two, so we're gonna go up there and check it out. Now I'm not sure if this is a requirement of the airport if you have to wear the special John Lennon glasses. Uh, I've left mine at home today, so we're going to have to head on inside without these uh, John Lennon glasses as we walk on into the airport. Look at that, the big sign right there. You can see how big the terminal is. It wraps right around to the big parking garage over here and then keeps on going, keeps on going and then it ends up over here by the domestic terminal and then the train station. Now, if you're a follower of my channel and you have uh, watched some of the, my previous videos, you know that Krochka Kotochka is one of my favorite places. And they've actually got a, a kind of pop-up restaurant right here outside the front of the airport. So, and somebody's enjoying a nice potato there with a coffee inside. But we're not looking for Krochka Kotochka today. We're gonna go in search of the secret restaurant on the second level. Now, just to give you an idea of the size of the airport, we're down here by checking counter 140. Now, these are all kind of hot swappable checking counters, but this is predominantly S7 down this end. But you can just see, well, you can't really see off in the distance how far it goes, all the different airlines check-in counters, but it's a big place. Now, who would have thought here at the airport they would have a car exhibit with a Model T Ford. Wow. Don't have to go to Detroit to go see them. They have them right here in the airport. How cool is this? Kind of almost, it looks like they've just got them parked up here. Um, but just at this end of the airport, they've got all these very neat cars. You can just see the train station off in the background as well. Check that out. Now I'm pretty sure from the title of the video that it's not really a secret where we're going, but there's a big huge banner here as you come off the uh, train uh, escalator to go to tell you where McDonald's is on the second floor by exit number one. So we're going to head on over there and check it out. Now as we walk through this lower level here, this is kind of the area where all the main check-in counters are. You can get your luggage wrapped. It also forms part of the arrivals off on the very end of the airport. You'll see here the different uh, airline check-in counters. And there's, there's a lot of people around. It's very busy, you know? There's people here. It's uh, not quiet. Nobody's wearing masks. Now there is uh, not a mask mandate here in Moscow anymore or in uh, Russia generally. Some cities still enforce it, but here in Moscow, you might see one out of every few hundred people wearing a mask, but it's pretty quiet. Otherwise, there's virtually nobody. Even just looking around here today, there's nobody that I see wearing a mask. You might notice one off 
in the distance of the uh, shots. Now, just ahead of us here, EK134. Oh, there it is. Qantas. Yes. It's actually an Emirates flight, but it's basically code share with Qantas. We can fly to Dubai. Yeah, right at counter checking counter 71 to 83. There's a lot of other flights as well if we go back and look at the, uh, the board generally. But I just noticed that Qantas logo right there on the uh, Emirates flight. Now we're not coming to Burger King, but I just thought I'd show you up on this second level. They've actually got the Burger King restaurant right here. It's actually a nice big restaurant actually. There's uh, plenty of seats. Uh, it's actually a little bit quiet up here. I guess a lot of people kind of wait to get through to the uh, departures lounge to eat rather than eating in the uh, check-in area, but pretty much the exact same menu, probably a few rubles more than if you bought it in the city, but it's right here. Burger King is definitely open in the airport in Domodiedova. And this is the other food court as well where you can actually get some food here on the kind of check-in side of the airport or land side. There's actually a kind of buffet style restaurant Lots of tables and chairs, a few people sort of sitting having something to eat, and there's also a coffee shop. Now can you see off in the distance the golden arches? That's what we're heading down to now. And now just around the corner, we can see it. KFC and McDonald's next to each other. And have a look right here. Here is McDonald's. This is one of only three that are open in all of Moscow. So there's one here at Domodedovo, there's one at Shevramentova, and there's one at Konsomolskaya train station. So yes, we have found a McDonald's open in Russia. Everybody's excited, I think. I wonder how many people aren't flying anywhere and they've just come for McDonald's and they're just gonna get in the car and drive home. A McDonald's is open here in here in Moscow, Russia. Now just next door is KFC and there isn't kind of quite the uh, buzz and excitement in here as there is at the uh, McDonald's. Uh, there's a bit of a waiting area here as well to uh, wait for your flight. Everybody's sort of sitting just uh, eating away. There isn't the, basically the uh, busyness uh, here then in the McDonald's, but it's still open, of course, here in the uh, in the airport. So while I wait patiently in line, I guess I can decide what I want. But I'm pretty sure classic Big Mac meal is going to be my choice. I think that's the uh, only thing I should order in here. I'm not going to get Mac chicken, fillet of fish. I think classic Big Mac meal is all I want to get. All right, let's try this, shall we? So we're going to go for a bit of English, dining in, and then let's have a look. Burgers and wraps, burger, Big Mac. And we want to do the Big Mac combo right there. And I'm pretty sure that's all we need to press. Oh, we've got to choose our fries. That's pretty straightforward. We don't want any sauce. Select our drink. Where are we right here? Sprite. Why we can't choose Coca-Cola, I wonder. Add to order. That's fine. And then that's pretty much it. Order complete. 322 rubles. Okay, proceed to check out. And we're gonna use 31, because we've got table service here. Table service at McDonald's. All right, tap away. And I think we're ready. No donations. And that's it. Oh, there we go. All right, and just like that, literally within minutes, the Big Mac meal has arrived. 
How good is this gonna look? Oh, have a look. This is exactly like any McDonald's in the world. Fries, Big Mac, and I'm not sure why I couldn't choose Coke, but I've got a Sprite anyway, so that's okay. And 322 rubles is about, just about five US dollars. So it's a little bit higher than it was uh, the last time I visited, but you know, we're at the airport. Now I wonder how many people pick up their fries like this and tip them into the tray on the side. Do you, you guys do that at home? So you've got your fries and your burger together. There's two more right there. Uh, it's not a secret, I don't think, but it's something that I do. Okay, everybody, so I'm uh, just eating some of my fries for now, but it's exactly the same McDonald's as it was nine weeks ago at all of the suburban McDonald's around Russia. Everything is exactly the same. Now this is one of only three McDonald's open in Moscow and Moscow region. So the other one is Chevromentova Airport. Here is Domodedovo Airport. And then at Komsomolskaya train station. So it's not a secret really to people that live here in Moscow, but the whole world thinks that all of the McDonald's in Russia are closed. So I thought I'd come here personally. I'm not going on a flight. I'm not flying anywhere. I just came specially to make sure that I can get a Big Mac meal here in Moscow still. Okay, and just like that, my meal is over. I'm gonna say goodbye now to McDonald's. I uh, hope to see you again soon. It's not as busy now, so Plenty of tables uh, to sit down. I think it comes and goes here depending on flight arrivals and departures a lot. And I'm pretty sure not everybody knows it's open up here either. Okay, everybody, we've come to the end of the video today. Uh, I'm just on the bus now heading back to the metro station. And I thought I'd take the fancy bus. This is the fancy bus back from the train, uh, from the airport to the metro station. So it's very nice by the way, it's very quiet. So yeah, hope you like this video. I hope you like coming to McDonald's with me. McDonald's in Moscow is open. I just thought I'd make sure everybody is aware of it. If you're watching at the end and you didn't watch the, the first three quarters of the video, yes, three McDonald's is open in Moscow. And I've been to two out of the three, so I can confirm that in May 2022, you can still go to McDonald's in Russia. Okay, everybody, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Maybe post a comment, let me know what you think. This is a little bit different video. It was kind of by request. So, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.